Hello and welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. This tutorial is going to be a little bit more spicy. We're going to be teaching you how to do fate transitions within OBS and Streamlabs OBS. Just like this. And this. Roll the intro. <laughs> We're back into OBS now. Um, as you can see, we have a blank scene over here with just my webcam. Now, what we want to do to start with is to get that cool camera fade transition is what we're going to do to start with is we're going to add another scene. We're going to duplicate this same scene as you can see right here. So you can see it's exactly the same. And we're going to call it fade scene two because we already have fade scene one. So now we have fade scene two. Let's uh, select our web camera right here. And let's just make it just a little bit bigger. Just like this. Just, oh, there we go. Hello, hello. So now we have fade scene two. So what we want to do is we want to add another fade scene. So we're going to duplicate this one as well. And we're going to call it fade scene three. Yeah, let's click that. So now we're in fade scene three three and we're gonna make this one uh we're gonna we're gonna maybe move you over to this side this time so as you can see right now we have three scenes fade one fade two and fade three as you can see we're in different parts of the cameras um so what we're gonna do now is add a transition so as you can see we have all our scenes ready now what we want to do is hit this little settings button in the scene section just up here we want to click that I'm going to go full screen on this, so I'm going to disappear for a bit. And what we want to do is we want to add a new transition. So we're going to click add new transition. We're going to call it fade effect four seconds. You'll see why I'm going to name that in a minute. Um, and as you can see here, we have a type, so we can select a certain transition that we want. There's a bunch here, as we can see. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the fade transition. And what we're going to do with the duration, we're going to change that to 4,000 milliseconds. So that'll equal to four seconds. That just means it'll take four seconds to it to fade from one scene to the next scene. So we're going to click done over there. So as you can see, we have a new effect called fade effect four seconds. Um, we don't want to click anything here. We'll keep the global transition as it is already. We don't want to mess around with that too much. Um, next, what we want to do is click on connections. We are in connections. Now connection mode means what we can do is we can click on add connection. Connection mode means we can use custom transitions from one scene to another scene. So from A to B, we can use custom transitions. So what we're going to do here is beginning scene. We're going to click on fade scene one. And as you can see here, we have a scene transition we want to use our fade effect for seconds. And then ending scene, we want to use that on fade scene two. And what we'll do is we'll click done. And the same will go with fade scene two to fade scene three, as we have a couple of fade fading scenes here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from fade scene two we're going to use our fade effect for seconds, the same one. We can use different ones if we want. You guys can make up ones if you wanted to. And then we're going to go to fade scene three. So fade scene two to fade scene three. So we have fade scene two and fade scene three. As you can see, that's all done. And now we want to click on done. And now we're back here. So now let's see if it works. So what if we want to go to fade scene two? Click that and voila, we have a fade. And then we go to fade scene three and that lasts four seconds. That fade will go on for four seconds as we can see here now. So there you go. It's as easy as that. And then just add a cool background like this one. Make sure the background is applied to all your scenes and add some smoke and add some sexy royalty free music. And there we go. We have some scene transitions. Cool. Spicy scene transitions. 
Um, so you can act, you could use these through hotkeys, as you can see right here. I'm just clicking on the scenes, and that's kind of giving us the fade as well. Um, but you can use uh, hotkeys to do this as well. You can use a stream deck, or you can just use the OBS hotkeys and the sign a hotkey through there. But yeah, now let's go to OBS. Hey guys, and welcome back. We're with OBS now. So with OBS the scene transitions, it's actually much much easier to use. So what we want to do here is we want to right click the scene that we want to fade. So we right click that and then we click on transition override and then we click on the little button called fade and add a three or four second delay or four second transition time to that. And so we just do that with all the same scenes that we're using here. As you can see, I've already got mine applied. Um, so we click on the scene, we right click the scene, sorry. Uh, we, we hover over transition override. Uh, we click on fade and we add that uh, transition time right down there. So as you can see, much, much easier to use it through regular OBS. I hope this video helped you understand scene transitions and how you can implement scene transitions into OBS and Streamlabs OBS. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions about anything, uh, just leave it in the comments. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button. Um, I, also, I also stream on Twitch four days a week, play a variety of games. I use this uh, scene transition quite frequently on there in very creative ways. But yeah, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you all next time. Adios!